Hi, y'all. What's up, coach? Yeah. Not much. Um, you know, I, w I was just telling George, you know, that's one of the, you know, two minute is typically one of the hardest things to get going for a brand new offense. Just getting everybody on the same page because everything's happening so fast, trying to, you know, process situations, all those things. So to see that happen, you know, only on the second time that we've done it, first time at the end of the game um, was really great. I mean, uh, it was great working with Russ through that one and watching him. He called that last play, which was absolutely fantastic and hit it for the touchdown. So, you know, it's just one of those things. You just want to always see progressions. You know, you always want to see guys getting better uh, slowly but surely. And uh, that was good. We got a long way to go, but that was really nice to see. You worked off a script in those situations. You said Russ called that. Are you working off a script or re letting him react to the defense and then call it? So it's a combination of both of us. You know, I, it's one of those things. I kind of try to plant some seeds in his uh, in his mind. Um, some things, you know, some plays we've got kind of have collaborate, collaborated on a list of things that we want to try to accomplish and uh, plays we want to run, especially in the situation having to get down the field uh, in large chunks. And then, uh, you know, I give him those, we talk about it, and then he runs with it. So, uh, and I'm always kind of in his ear, but he, it's, it's his choice, whatever he's feeling. Hey, what do you like? Talk, talked about the, um, you know, kind of the up tempo being about sometimes being able to steal a play. Look how, look how quickly he took the snap identified kind of that, that opportunity on the outside. Is that sort of an example? In which one? Which one? Uh, oh, later on? Yeah, that was that was kind of funny, but that was that was pretty cool. I mean, um, we had something that we wanted to get to there, a uh, little miscommunication, which actually turned into a different play that we didn't know was going to happen, but it, uh, you know, that's how sometimes great plays happen. <laughs> something, a brand new play, but uh, Cortland uh, ran a beautiful route, and uh, I loved how he flattened it, and uh, Russ did a great job. We had great protection up front. He stepped to the left and uh, got explosive. Good Coach, what do you like about your backup quarterback today? Um, with that play, uh, Shepard, first of all, <laughs> describe that play. Um, you know that one there. It's actually an option um, for uh, you know the wide receiver to either stop or go. And uh, my man Shep uh, decided he was he was going. He wasn't thinking about nothing else. And uh, what was awesome was the timing of the quarterback. We've uh, I believe you guys have seen that a couple, uh, at least one other time. I think we had Cortland on one um, that uh, PS2 broke up. And um, so to be able to get that one, it was perfect rhythm by the quarterback. Great protection, and uh, there was no indecision. And uh, yeah. He, Took the house. That was pretty funny. That was his first play, and everybody was mad. He's got to do more dirty work before he gets those. <laughs> How about uh, picking uh, Josh Johnson as your as your backup this offseason? Why? why you yeah, you know, him? both those guys are doing a fine job. I don't think anything's solidified. It's about competition right there. You know, Rip has great days. Josh does great things, and you know, Josh just by himself. You know, he's got game experience. He's been in this league. I think he's as old as me. Um, but uh, you know, he's just a great guy to have in the room either way, and that's what you're looking for for that position. Somebody that can support Russ, support all of us, and uh, not have to practice a ton because he's seen so much, so he can go in the game at any time and play. What'd you like about uh, Max Borgie? And tell us a little bit more about uh, Darius Shepard. Yeah, I mean, uh, Max, he, he came in, I think it was mini camp, and uh, he did a fine job. I think at that time, due to our numbers, we couldn't bring him on. Um, but he was somebody we wanted to take a look at. You know, he was a real smart guy, uh, busted his butt, and, and that's what you need. And uh, so just that mindset that he's got, now he's got to kind of pick it all up because he only had a day or two. So that's this is always the trick when those guys come in in training camp. All these other guys have had off seasons and all that stuff. Now they got to dive in and, and try to learn the entire system. So I think that's something that he showed that he could he could slowly do. And and Shep, you know, I, I was with Shep at uh, Green Bay for two years, and uh, you know he played a lot of football for us. I mean, he's a guy that you can depend on, tough, smart guy, and uh, you know we're happy that he can come in here and help us out. And you saw already he did some good stuff. Do you have a, a timeline for Tyree Cleveland when he's going to be back and what exactly is going on? No, I think right now we're just going to play it by ear. We're just making sure he's all safe and good, but he's got a smile on his face. And, you know, I think for him it's just about how can you mentally get focused because um, we want to try to get him back, obviously, as soon as we can. But something like that, we just want to kind of slow play it if we need to. Hey, hey, there hey, seemed hey, like a focus. What happened there? Did he get swelling in his throat? Uh, there's a little cartilage thing going on there, so it's a little bit unique. Um, so I've actually never heard of it before. So we just, we, you know, everything's fine. He'll be fine and he'll be back. Um, it's just one of those things because the uniqueness of it, we just want to be sure. We want to be sure we're good. I know you'll have to look at it, but is this the kind of practice when you walk off the field, you feel like you got to be a better football team today? Yeah, I thought we've gotten better every day. You know, I mean, yesterday we had the jog through and to me, I, I I'm shocked at how much we got done yesterday. I mean, we got way more plays than we had anticipated. The guys were able to mentally learn, get fresh, get their legs about them. So then we can come out here and have that high level of a practice. That's what you're looking for. You know, you never want to come out and waste a day in pads. They're so precious. We don't have a lot of those. 
Um, so you want to be sure you get everything and the guys learn about themselves. And I mean, it's like the season. I mean, you don't go a lot of pads in a row during the season. So you want them to get used to that. So, um, I mean, it was, I thought it was a really good practice. I got to watch the tape. It's never as good as you think, never as bad as you think. Um, I'm happy to see both play, both sides of the ball making plays though. That's what you want. You want explosive plays and you want the, uh, the defense taking uh, the ball away, which is great about my position is I get to celebrate for all of it. So I don't have, I don't need to get mad. Time for a few more for the coach. Rest. He's old. I could just say old. <laughs> Rest, old, same thing. Uh, Caden Stearns, we just want to take care of some things so he can be back. Uh, we're trying to get him back on Saturday. So just a little injection in his hip and stuff like that. And we're good. Uh, DJ Jones. Um, we want to rest him, but hopefully we have some exciting, uh, amazing news for, uh, for, you, for that uh, coming here in the next day or so. Uh, Christopher Allen, same deal. We're just getting rest because he, he's, you know, for him, it's just been so long since he's played football. So for him to go out there, uh, bang a little bit the other day, we just want to be sure we're resting and, and slowly working him in. Coach Greg Dulcich in the red zone, you were able to get him a little bit more acclimated. What have you seen from him so far early on? Besides the hair or... Uh, <laughs> No, I'll tell you, he, he only got a couple reps again. We're trying to slowly work him in. Uh, we don't want to, you know, throw him in there and, and have him running down the field all over the place and blocking, but uh, it was great. He kind of had a couple uh, couple plays. I think he kind of touched down on the right there, which was great because, I mean, the play Russell made was awesome, and I'm going to hear it from the defense because they're going to think they sacked him, but they definitely didn't. And uh, But uh, it was just a great feel for him. I think that's the thing with, with Dulcich right now is, you know, he's understanding the playbook because um, he's been using so much mental um, time to like understand it, but then to watch him go out there and make a natural play, he was covered, kind of ran to get open and, and found a sweet spot. So that was not, uh, that was, I didn't know that was going to happen. That was just them playing ball. Last one, Eric. What sort of work is that? Coach, you're going to have to do Yeah, no, it's great. It's, uh, you know, we did that at a lot of places I've been. And it's great because, one, the players get the reps that they wouldn't have. So, you know, uh, the guys over here, so you kind of get double reps in less of the time. So we end up getting 12 reps in, gosh, maybe even four minutes the way that we went. So every now and then you want to throw those things in there. But then, obviously, the coaches have to split up. So the younger coaches, you know, for me, everything's about developing. Both players, both coaches, um, young guys, you want them to be able to learn how to coach, understand how to coach on the fly and on the, on the field. And um, I think that's always a great opportunity for them. Uh, it was scripted until I, uh, yeah, so it's kind of scripted. It's kind of scripted. All right, y'all, appreciate it. Thanks, guys.